Matias is the healthiest kid that there was. I mean, never got sick, was all into sports, all about school. Last week of June, he had flu-like symptoms. We visited the doctor and he had high fevers. His body was, it was red and he was also showing some rashes, which they told us that was due to the high fever. And that was for about four to five days. And then mom spent the night with Matias that night and he wasn't doing too well. His body that night was glowing red and really rashed up. So he was feeling weak and I ran him to the emergency room. When I arrived, they checked him and they told me he had pneumonia. But we thought it was just flu-like symptoms, now it was pneumonia and it was serious. He was getting oxygen, just getting, you know, his saturation was running a little bit low and stuff. And then he just all of a sudden went to cardiac arrest. He went to cardiac arrest for about six minutes. We were asked to step out of the room. The doctors all rushed into the room, try to get a get his vital signs. They were able to get his vital signs. The doctor said that they, they had a they had to put him on ECMO. He had to be intubated. He had to be on life support. That was the only thing that they could do for him. They told us that it's possible that Matias wouldn't make it that night. I noticed that he started to move the shoulders and I said that to the doctors and that day, they started to, to do a, a little test with him to see if he responded. And he started to respond that day. They tried to, to say to him, Matias, do you hear us, Matias? And I started to scream to him and to say to him, Matias, Show them that you are here. Show them that you are here, Matias. And he started to move all his body. That was a beautiful moment for us. They said that maybe he's going to lose that leg. And after that procedure, they came and they said to, to us, the other leg don't look good too. And also the, the hands. Yeah. Well, when we got oh. the news of the left leg, we, we accepted it. We said, okay, if yeah. this is what has to happen, but he's going to stay with us. We were begging the doctors. We were like, please, he's all about school. He's all about, he wants to be an engineer. Please do whatever you have to do for his hands. And he cried and cried and cried. And we cried to a lot that day. And after the surgery, and he hugged us. That was incredible to see because he's really resilient he's like okay this is what i need to to get better okay and we tell him that you know he's a he's, he's a miracle he, he he is a miracle and and we expressed that to him and said you know we have to be grateful you are alive matias uribe you are all here your heart your mind you are here we're going to figure this out we're going to be at the beginning we're going to be your arms and legs we're going to help you out we're going to get through this together it's a simple fact that that we could sit next to him and, and laugh together and just, you know, yes. tell him, I love you and, and just hear, I love you, dad. You're the best dad, you're the best mom in the world. That means everything to us. If he could do it, if he's laying in that bed right now and he's not complaining about nothing, who are we to complain?